Okay, carrying on from yesterday uh, with render targets, which are focused on off-screen images that I'll render to and read from, uh, today I just need to carry on with that. I need to complete the system, if possible, or at least advance it. So to begin with, I need to confirm that like this that I create, I can actually render to. RGBA, a, yeah. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to swap out right now, and I'm not going to look at the XR stuff quite yet. That's, that's a little later, but for the moment, I am looking towards rendering what we I currently render, which is like the triangle and the moving mesh, whatever, which is currently down to the swap image to the off screen. Um, but I still need to call a render pass for the swap chain to make sure it's in the correct state when it's presented. So what I'm going to do real quick, this is the section for that. We do that. And then we go on a like VK command and render pass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure that works. So it should just be blue of some sort. Yeah. I can do purple if I do one and one. So just make sure it's blue first. What I'm doing is what I think I'm doing. It's not just. Oh yeah, there. Do like a purplish. No, green and blue would be. I don't know. Cyan, sky blue. Okay, that's cool. So we have that. Now I want to change out that what I'm rendering to, which will be new swap chain. So we got the swap image pass here, which I create to use to create frame buffers. Okay. So we got that. Render swap image. We're going to have a new sub area, which is going to be a render texture, I think, actually. Ah, image. So we got. We're still going to reuse this, that command buffer. Swap chain extent. Okay. So I need. I first of all, I need the render pass. Instead of that, it's BK. That. Okay. this around just a little bit to be after the point where I'm re where I <clears throat> redo the swap chains where do I do them I do them about here right yeah oh no so I can actually do it here okay that's, that's fine Sure that they're right and we reprocess them <clears throat> so it's the same size I can work with that with the render pass we have to start the render pass mm 
Mm. There we go. Render pass, begin info. It's this stuff. Under the image, render pass. Okay. Salt chain extent. I have a clear value, which will be different from this, but I'll just kind of. Whatever this is. Okay. And we're going to do test target uh, dot frame sets. Dot frame buffer. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Reset that, reset that. We do this. Then we end the render pass. Then we end the command buffer. Then we okay. Okay, let's um, make sure it doesn't like have a whole bunch of uh, validation errors or anything else. Ooh, yeah, we got problems. We got problems. Why? Undefined to layout present. Okay, VK. Um, shader read only optimal, let's say. Something like that. Makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? Oh, I need to actually begin the render pass again as well. So we stop, we stop. Okay. Okay, we go to the end of the render pass. Ooh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Attachment zero is not compatible with zero. They have different f formats. What? Hold on, what? RGBA8U, okay. We do this. So I can flag it. We do that, that as cast. Great. Don't clear. Store. Don't care. Don't care. Undefined. Shader read only optimal. Okay. So that's other stuff. Wait, hold on. Um, there's only the one, uh, and it's that. Does it have to be like? Transfer sampled storage color attachment transient input fragment. I don't see anything specific to, yeah. Okay. Let's just roll through the old fashioned way then. Um.
I guess it's just starting to get a bit, uh, whatever. Go to draw bind pipeline. Let's go to draw. Okay, we do have some. It draw index render pass. What? Oh, oh, from that render call. Okay. Current render pass must be compatible with the render pass member of when created when creating the pipeline. <sighs> Crap, the pipeline. Yeah, here we go. Whoops, diddly doodly. I missed that one. Swap image render pass. No, it should be render to image. Get the pipeline. So we got that and that. Okay. The render. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here. Swap image, render pass. It's not even here anymore, right? Yeah. So why is it still trying to Okay, I just got to go through them line by line. Where is it getting this wrong thing from? We have we use this. Yes. Okay, so here we're doing this. Great. This is the one. It's inside of here. It's not using. Okay. I'll have to change it. But for the moment, don't bother drawing to that. Generating new pipelines, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, now I need to open render doc. Uh, it's first time on this new machine, so let's have a look. Okay, do that. Uh, settings for launching the application. Don't have any yet. Executable path is. Build the engine. The working directory is not the build directory, it's that. There's no command line argu arguments, correct? Yeah, there's none. 
by default. I'm on full screen, I'm on vsync. Reference all resources. Save these settings. Capture the engine. Launch. Okay. F12. Grab a frame and let's explore it. So that's this is the one for uh, this. So it means for this one, it yeah starts that we render. Okay, so we successfully rendered off screen. Let's see if we can try to grab one that. Uh, one, two, let's capture that. So to my mind, yeah, we just ca caught the end of that, but it's there. Okay, so I can render to the off-screen target. That's great. Let's see if I can automate. Oh, almost, I need to ch update this. Just put that to the side. This, okay. <clears throat> I need to in pipeline layout. Hold on a second. Do I, I don't use Ah, here we go, pipeline. Hmm. Crap. Okay, okay, okay. I wanna, oh, dang it. Okay, so with that out of the way, let me see if, what do I wanna do? I wanna be able to add depth, but I can't really add depth until, hmm. Okay, yes I can, can't I? What if I go to data, this, set the data A, set the state to be, the mesh it's going to use is number 14, if I recall correctly. Go back to the application. I wanna add depth, but I also wanna fix this. Uh, okay, 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 okay. What about command buffer, frame index, draw buffer. Okay, draw buffer is fine. I can work with that. What about 32 index frame, and I say it's like a BK render pass. What if I pass and do 32 sub pass? And if they don't, and I keep these on hand, include renderer.
whatever. We save that. Right now, it's during the initialization that I do this stuff, right? I don't need the, this, 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 and this can be initialized without requiring. It's just the initializing of the pipeline at the very end. So I can do that last. I do have the VK device as well. I can do render pass, sub pass. Okay. Sub pass, sub pass. I'm going to include these. So M render pass, M sub pass. I'm going to pass these <laughs> to hit this. What's going to happen is when we get into draw, we're going to say, hey, uh, we have this stuff. That's great. If there's nothing to draw, then it doesn't really matter. But if, it, if there is something to draw, we need to recreate the pipeline. No, no, no. I can't do that because of... Oh. I, the idea was I was going to recreate render uh, pipelines based on the render pass I'm given, but I don't really want to do that here because then I'd have to also like have a delayed destruction because again it may not be complete in other frames yet by the time I get to this point in the CPU. So I can't actually do that. So let's reset that. Reset, reset, and instead I'm just going to change the thing that it, that it uses. We're going to find the render in the application. We're going to say, hey, you know, you, you're using a completely different render pass now. You can kind of put these together like here. If it's not initialized, then initialize it here with the render pass you're about to use. Yeah, that sounds that sounds all right. So it'll be come on, where is it? Pipeline, I get it from this. Okay, back to render doc. Launch the application. Nope, so we'll just say one. Nope, doesn't even work. Okay. Oh, I need to initialize it before I run those other things, don't I? Whoops. Do this again. It's gonna okay, it is running. Just in something else. Okay. It works again. <clears throat> Let's uh, do this again. One second in, we got that. Great, we'll stop it. Go into there, we're gonna have a look at what was drawn. This unfortunately I yeah. And then down here somewhere there'll be it'll render that stuff correctly. The problem is I'm too close to this, I guess. So
I'm going to slightly change that render pass, render pass, render pass, render pass, and render pass. Okay, great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out for the moment. Change this to be also render pass. And we're going to say, you know, render pass. This one. Make it a bit easier to swap between the two for the moment. So I'll rerun right now. It should be pink. It should have that stuff. If I move backwards, it's going to be good, correct? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, see, that was perfect. That's got the actual. So, what I want to do is I want to move back a little bit. So, it's. Uh, where's camera? It's back about. minus 16. So, we'll say minus 17 and a half. We're going to change the location of the camera. Minus 17.5. Uh, that's that. I'm going to change it so that for the moment, render triangle and the render mesh. This does not have a rigid body. For the moment. And it's at position zero. See the what's happening is so so the depth buffer is definitely not operating correctly here, obviously. And okay, that's the triangle. So it's rendering that and then backwards down to that. Hmm. Like that's being so yeah, yeah, that's this is what I want. Now I can add the depth buffer to make sure that it does what I'm expecting it to do. Okay, and save that. Don't have to worry about it. I just reset it. It's a get repo in in of itself. All right. So we redo that. Now, depth buffer. D16. Would this be all that's required just to add the depth, the depth buffer? Would it automatic? Would it work? No, I need to set like a. Maybe I maybe I have to set a VK, uh, depth bias value, but maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, but we got bigger problems with a depth buffer. Okay. You cannot start a render pass using a frame buffer with a different number of attachments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, right, render pass. Yeah. Out of my way. One and one. 
sure. And I need to set the uh, second clear value with that. Zero point F. Ah, no, 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 it's two things, <clears throat> right? It's like a union. No, it's not. It is literally two things. Okay, I need a... Really, you can't even format anymore? Come on. Two values on the frame buffer, the render pass. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see how badly this breaks. Mm -hmm. I've got something different going on. Invalid pipeline, create info, state PDEP stencil, it's null when rasterization is enabled, and a subpass uses. The pipeline that I have here does not have a depth stencil state. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. All right. Vertex descriptor? No, it wouldn't be this side. It'd be this, wouldn't it? If I recall correctly, shader v1. Going to this. It's great. Re graphics, graphics data, which takes me graphics shader, which is descriptor set. Built-in descriptor set layouts, push constant range. No, this is not what I'm looking for quite yet. So where would I have this? It'd be under material somewhere, right? Fragment shader, here we go. Well, that'd be, that's that. Here we go, material definition. So which material are we looking for? The material one, the material two. mesh material. See that's using an image. That's not. That is. That's not. Okay, so these two.
Tip stencil create info. Okay. Kind of rolling back to stuff I've completely forgotten about. Under that stencil. So I have a few items. Uh, depth. Test. Enable. True. Which is that's or equal. Don't do that one. Front and back are. Hmm. Okay, uh, going for faux graphics. Be under like Libby ammo. Include parsing. Okay, would have. Where do I have the VK parsing? There we go. Uh, pipeline depth stencil state create info. That's for testing. Struct parsing. Operation, the pass operation is keep. Um, on the back. Just keep everything all the time. Like Yes, I don't really know which way I'm looking for. No, oh, stencil test enable. Okay, stop that. So we got that, we're gonna use it here and here. And here. Just all three materials. And let's see how badly that goes. Very badly is the answer. But for a very okay, we have a different issue. Somewhere up here, there was an error. Material V1 depth stencil depth test enable. Cannot parse map. Type node as U132. Depth test enable. Hmm. 
the cable is considered an int. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. One one zero zero. There's nothing to draw. That's fantastic. There's absolutely just nothing. Nothing was drawn at all. Great. So that's worse. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, let me think. Uh, depth buffer, I set it to zero, which means everything is right up against the depth buffer. Oh, I think I know what I did. The depth buffer should be reset to one. Come on. 5950X can't save a file. What great things Electron has brought us. Anyways, I needed to change the depth buffer, the depth stencil to be uh, reset to the maximum distance so that things could be brought closer. Mm, not the other way around. And I'm obviously going to restart the uh, code now. Once this completes. Uh, so it's the bracket ca pair colorizer that's breaking down now? Or what? Come on. that we saved it we got the new values just set it to zero Okay, it's running. Resize works, yeah, okay. Let's try this again. Render to texture with depth. 
Show me stuff. Okay. Do that. Let the color pass. Pink. We got stuff. Yes, it is being drawn correctly. Is it being overwritten? No, it's not because depth is enabled. Okay. Good. And then that's the presentation of that image. There's the depth as well. Okay. Okay. So I'm drawing correctly with depth to an off screen buffer. Now I want to resolve it or yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do something. I want to get it to the swap chain image now. Okay. How's about for resolving? Okay. Okay, this is the swap. This is the swap one right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to render to the image first. I'm going to do the command buffer. Render to the image to about this point. And then we want to resolve. Resolve to swap image. It's gonna I don't need to render pass for this, I don't think. I mean I can use like the the render pass resolve for Vulcan, but I can also resolve directly through what's this? VK command resolve image VK resolve image which is most which is very much like a copy it looks like so like this resolve a multi sample image for none multi sample image call this command bar for the source image and layout destination image and layout Region count, okay. Uh, could be done for primary and secondary, must be outside the render pass. Graphics cube, transfer pipeline type, okay, whatever. That's an AMD thing specifically, but version 1.0. Okay, I'm gonna to try to use this. So we don't need the render pass. We don't need this stuff. So what does it have to be? Source image, layout. Uh, source image must have that. Oh, hello. Source image must have a sample count equal to any valid sample count other than one. And then destination must have a sample count equal to one. Okay, yeah. Must specify the layout. Okay, layout shared present. Transfer source optimal. VK image layout general. Destination must be shared present. Destination optimal or layout general. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how to do this.
So let's change this. So it's not the final layout of this image is not that it's VK image layout mm, transfer source optimal. I want to make sure that this is workable for that image type. Transfer source. It changes the transfer when we're done with it. And then we're going to use it in here. And buffer, the source image is, what is it? This also doesn't, means I don't have to do funky frame buffers quite yet. the actual image. That's the actual image. So the image layout of the source is going to be okay. transfer source optimal. And the destination image is going to be Returns the image view, but I need the actual image, which I do not provide. swap chain for that Okay, I actually have to get it. the device handy do I okay um, I 
we'll have to we'll just have to keep it Resize image count and this dot data. When we're destroying. Around here, we can do that as well. Okay. So this is still good. there. Let's do this. So we got the image, now we want to change the destination image layout shall be image layout transfer destination optimal region count of one. And we're going to have one VK image resolve region. Which is. What is this in Compass? Here. And what is this? There it is. Aspect mask. the same. Extend 3D, yes. Um, I 
width and height, depth of that. Um, so we got passing that single resolve region in. Okay. Actually, before this happens, close that up. Let's do this and let's see if that can actually even render to a multi sampled image before I even try to figure out this resolve process. Sounds a bit like something I should be doing first. So, up here, a little further up here. So, we got a count, let's say, let's do eight times. I'm sure there's something somewhere else that's going to break from this. Mm. Something. That is, I'm going to bet, from the pipeline that I generated for I am GUI. I'm going to bet real bad right about here. Multi sample state rasterization samples does not. When I create the graphics pipeline, I don't have a multi-sample state for this when I'm creating it. Okay. I need to add that to the to, to the pipeline system. I need to say how yeah, many samples? Okay, dang it, dang it, dang it. do this going through pipelines and we may need to have like multiples of the same pipeline based on the sample state one two three four five six seven up to seven samples or sample like seven different sample rates.
samples. We're going to pass that through the p-pipeline layout. That's the thing we bring out. That's the thing we bring out. That's the thing we bring out. What's going to happen is we're going to do this. We're going to create the pipeline. Get the sample. equals that okay we'll return that and then we have to do To do is I want to have like an array. I mean, yeah, I already have a vector, so all right, we're going to go up to like right now equals seven. Sample options, that's great. Pipeline zero through six. Go back to here. P pipeline equals pipeline on pipeline based on. Samples and how do I determine this? Size T sample count index. Can I just do a switch? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay.
Okay, um, let's determine like. Pipeline set. I, I don't have it set yet. Okay. If that, then we can do this. Otherwise, If that's the case, then we can do that. Else we need to use this old case. This is uh, not synchronized at all. Mm. That's not great. Okay. 
Okay. Set that break out. We have a few locations where pipelines are done. Uh, this means right about here. I need the sample count. Hmm. Not great. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm going to find, I start it there, I find it here, let's go. Turn that off for the moment again. I'm gonna to have to change how this like does pipelines. I'm gonna to have to like have it use not not manage its own stuff basically. Because this render is really just starting to annoy me. Okay. We have, we're going to go inside. Okay, we have samples. Uh, we have samples of eight. That means a sample index of three, which means we don't have any pipelines generated yet. Okay. that up somehow.
Okay. I'm presuming that that's working fine. It's uh, loaded up and rendered off. So let's have a look at, okay, how does this look? How does this image, channels RGBA, blah, 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 source. I'm not sure how to determine if it's, I don't know how to determine if it's uh, multi-sampled or not. All right, well, we'll just try to run it, see what happens. Maybe it'll actually show something kind of obvious enough that I'll be able to read. Targets and depth, okay. Um, Maybe that's not the multi sampled yet for sure. Like, yeah, it's still 1080. I don't know if it is multi sampled. Is it? Did I not set it to be multi sampled yet? No, they are using multi sampled. So maybe I just need to resolve it to figure it out. Have a look that way. So, let's do that. Resolve the whole thing here. I need to change these. So this image is that. I need to, before I do this, I need to change I need to go find how I change the image type layout. Not quite. Okay. Oh, right, image loader. That'll make sense. Upload commands, that's fine. Record the image upload commands. We'll go down to here. Memory barrier, here we go. So we're gonna do this to sub resource range, which is specified just before, I guess. It has to be this. Destination image, so I need to do this. Source image is done, I just need to change the swap image to that. Actually, put it in. Yeah, okay. Do that, then we want to change it up afterwards. Resolve image. Then we want to change it up for the swap image to go from this to.
transfer read bit. Uh, VK image layout present source. So that's how it goes, right? Yeah. And then we go ahead and present it after this is done. That's the theory. Let's see the practice. That does look quite a bit smoother. I mean, there's a lot of uh, text but it does actually look like <sighs> it does look kind of correct. VK image usage transfer destination bit. I guess I didn't. I guess uh, I didn't create these with that. Okay, if I was going back to swap chain, have a little look. Okay, it's creating the swap chain views. I want to create the swap chain with this color attachment bit and that. Okay, that's a lot less issues. Um, RGB versus BGR. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Hmm. But I do have a multi-sampled image. I, it looks like, even if they are kind of swapped around. So I'll just change it for that for the moment. That's RGB. Mm -hmm. Must be the same format. We'll do that. Come on. Okay. I got that. I want to remove for the moment the armature so it doesn't do anything, it just sits there. smoother sorry triangles inside of him when it's not animated okay that does look okay let me uh, swap back to one bit sample count or rather I can't quite do that can I 16 and 16, which I think will be like the, lar the highest that, I don't even know if, um, I don't, MSA only really went up to eight. 
pretty sure. Hardware wise. Yeah, it's just gonna die. Okay, I want to build this. I want to get us a, a shot of it. Oops. Actually, I can probably just use that as the shot right now. And just... Not gonna fire or what? Actually, no, that's see, that's sample count of one. That's got edges, edges, jaggies. Yeah, that is way better. Okay, I have multi-sampling and image resolving. I'm getting there. I am slowly getting there. Uh, so time, 50 minutes, time for a quick refill the cup of water and BRB. Okay, offline I, I just did a quick bit of thing where I got the UI to render nicely on the MSAA target right here. Well, it doesn't match, it's just a manual matching right now, but it does appear to work. I mean, I can't really tell with this. Maybe it's better, maybe it's not. Time will tell. But I can also just, you know what, um, I'll just put it here and put it as a sample one bit for the moment. Okay, undo those. When did I make the modification to that, anyways? Add sample raster sample flags. I've heard, I've always had this. I didn't quite realize. Hmm. Oh, I guess I have. Just didn't use it. So this is uh, now sample. This is on the rat resolved image.
can't really tell if there's been a there's really much of a difference on it. All right. All right. All right. All right. So now I need to kind of uh, fix up the other items that I played around with to make this happen. Clean them up and then do and actually properly like put this into a proper system rather than this kind of hacky half solution that I have now. So to start with, let's see what, what, what we're What's going on with the uh, swap chain? Hmm? It'd be interesting if swap chains could actually accept multi-sampled images and then would resolve when it was presented instead. Wouldn't it? Yeah, to my mind. Hmm. Okay, something I want to do here is just close it all. Open that file and open that file. I want to change it so that when I create, along with all this stuff, I also say um, any extra image usage flag bits. So I presume that's how I'm using this somewhere in the application when I'm creating a new one. Swap chain dot something. Create. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Three swap chain images. Next. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so we've got the surface, surface format, the present mode, and then I'm going to have to add something that says, hey, you know, DK usage. Transfer destination bit. I want to add that to the swap chain. So right here. It's a new swap chain.
extra usage. I don't need to say flags. Have the, uh, what do they have? Specified here. Okay, we say that. And um, otherwise. Okay. That in. Now we don't want to do this here, but rather I'm going to have it specified right here. Yeah, we're going to do that. Right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll do two parts. There's two parts to this. So first of all, we are going to add the new extra usage flags. So that to that. as resolve or copy.
switch in creation. which is for images, images, and images. targets or Copy or resolve targets. Okay. kind of it okay now for the interesting thing this image pool uh, the pipeline pool stuff pipeline pool and pipeline pool thank you so <clears throat> actually hold on what else do I need to do uh, hold on I need to do this don't I So this is for what stage that? Salt chain usage flags F. F at that, great. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Pipeline pool. Added this and this, as well as the max sample options. Yes, yes, okay.
There should be like pop camp, something like that, maybe. No, pop count says the number of one bits of the value. I need to find like the first. Consecutive one bits has single bit. Count any all. Okay, just leave it like this then, switch case. Turn zero by default, I guess. What is the uh, log for this? Oh, VK graphics. Okay, we got that. Fail to determine sample count. Create new. Make sure the pipeline goes to.
Another ender target. Okay. Now, for kind of finishing up uh, render targets and such. So what I have kind of works right now, but do I want to keep it like this? How would I, how how would I organize this? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> 